you very much for that. Um, um, my name's John and I'm chair of the CLP, but I spent 25 years as a Unison branch secretary and um, everything you say echoes in my memory. Um, I, I, I'm going to ask you about the one thing you said was dry and boring that you didn't want to talk about. Because as you said it, it occurred to me that we're anticipating a Labour government. And if we get a Labour government, we can change laws. And I wonder if one simple little change we should make or, or campaign for would be to extend the time limit for discrimination claims and employment tribunals. Because what you say is so right. And I've, I've dealt with so many workers who have been badly wronged and the law offers them no redress because they haven't dealt with it properly. And it just occurs to me, equal pay claims have a six month deadline. Um, so why on earth not for sexual harassment? And I wonder if you think that might be something that we could take up through the party and the trade unions and perhaps get changed. John, absolutely, you wouldn't go an argument from me on that. You know, things like redundancy is six months as well. Um, with discrimination cases, you know, the, the other thing that you have to remember as well is the clock starts ticking from the date of the act that you're complaining about, not from when you take your grievance hearing, not from when you get your grievance outcome, not from the grievance appeal. And very often people sit back and wait. Um, and they'll, they'll phone somebody like me up and say, well, this happened six months ago. You say, well, have you lodged? Well, no, I was waiting for the, the outcome of my grievance appeal. And unfortunately, the law doesn't stop the clock from ticking. It's from the date of the act that you're complaining about. So I very much agree. And, you know, in, in sort of discrimination cases, exactly for the reason I was saying, very often it takes people a little bit of time to actually recognise what's happened, build up the confidence, etc., etc., to deal with it, you wouldn't get an argument from me.